everybody, so we want to talk about the reality of California compared to the, the expectations. So I want to know, uh, what is what is your expectations of California? I mean, I just know that every time I step out the door, it's like a little piece of heaven. Exactly, right? exactly. 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 Right. That's, That's how you put it in words. That's how you put it in words. Man, did you shoot this bomb? I mean, damn. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Philly. You, you get off the plane, you... you you can feel how better it is. Like you can smell the air. The air's lighter. It's fresher. Like it's just it's a better experience. See, this is my thing. You come from Philly, right? You see taxi cabs, Chinese stores on every corner. Um, you see a lot of bullshit if you ask me. But I feel as though you come over here, you step up the plane, you see palm trees, clean streets, better smelling air. It's like everything. The, the girls look better. The food tastes better. The wind exactly. looks better. The stores look better. Exactly. It's just like everything is just better. The 7-Eleven was better. Sunny ambulance. Exactly. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they have they have alcohol at the grocery store, at the CVS, at the 7-Eleven. You oh. can buy liquor at, at, the, at grocery stores. They have champagne at grocery stores. I, don't, I never saw that until I came here. I yeah. never saw that. I never saw that. Just to, you know, I'm like, Wow. Oh, that's yeah. Space now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go, there we go. Real, space and I'll move your ass over. Shit, I mean, <laughs> well, for, for, for me personally, I mean, coming out to California, I've been here, you know, a year and a half. Coming out to California, I mean, it's, it's definitely a change of pace. When I first came, I was like sick a whole lot. Mm -hmm. For like for, for the like first three weeks, like every week, I was mm -hmm. sick. It's, it's the work. adjustment to the, to the weather but and all that. As far as I think California forces you yeah. to become crafty. Like, it, oh, like yeah, it's a crafty sure. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. like, I done yeah. see, I done heard niggas do all kinds of shit. They like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a Airbnb my apartment. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 figuring this out to how to do this and do like like it's it's like there's one way to do it and then there's like the 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 way behind the way to do it. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. You, you, you have to find out that way behind the way, or else you have to be fucked because everything's yeah. everything's expensive. Yeah, you know you have, uh, to, have to find a way to make more money. I was about to ask you. Like that. Yeah. How was the transition from Philly Philly prices to California prices? I'm talking about everything. I mean, the transition was just painful. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that, that's all. That's all you can really do. Like yeah. the main thing is like the reason why I want to come out here is because everything is here. Like if if entertainment is what you want to do in any capacity. Cali is where you go to do it. Yeah. Like, because if you're in a place where that's not the main thing, you're, you kind of feel held back. There's so many, so many obstacles you gotta jump over, or you, you're, you're stuck at, at the same place trying to, you know, expand and exceed. And you can't really do that unless you go to a place where that's where everyone is doing it. Yeah. And here it's, it's easy to, as long as you work hard, it's easy to make it out here. Well, not exactly. easy, but easier. I, but I feel like it's good and bad, right? Because we, the thing is, like, everybody's going for that image, but not everybody's doing it. So, I live in California, you have the people who know how to act the role, mm -hmm. and you have the people who know uh, who know the people, and you have the people who are actually doing it, right? Right, right, right? So, the people who are actually doing it is very, very, very small. And the people that are doing it to this other level is like 2%. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of hard to find that 2%. So, in um, kind of like the thing that I live by is, don't find it created. Right. right. And then for you, you, you say what? For yourself. For, for yourself. yourself. You create it for yourself and then you bless other people with that gift, right? I like that. So it's just like a little different mentality because everybody in California, what they do is they're trying to find, trying to find their somebody. savior. They, they mm -hmm. go to that party. Yeah, they talk to the white man. They're yeah. here and then everybody gets caught up in that. And they feel like, I'm going to come here to find that, but in actuality, you can find that in the places that you're at right. and bring that here and add on. Right to what you have. Yeah, and yeah. if you come with that mentality, it's a lot different. You're gonna be a lot more successful. See, I like that. I like how he thinks. He's more so of a, I'm gonna create my own pain. Yeah, you gotta create I'm not depend on nobody else. Yeah. Cause, cause I mean, I mean, the way I see it, if if you're at a party with somebody who you need to be around, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's you and it's a girl with big everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, who, who has a better chance getting access to that person? Exactly. And for what reason? Yeah. And, and there's a whole new thing about California that you know, and I'm not going to go to the city. Well, yeah, there's a whole nother thing yeah. that you're not seeing yet. So it's like, it's yeah. like you can either go that path or whatever path that may be. And if you're not, you understand. Or what you can do is just make your own and create it. Because at the end of the day, how you get money is you have people who support you who have the financial gains, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to go to this person with a million dollars. We're at a point where um, the social media, you can literally say, okay, if everybody donates this amount, 
through Fermi or whatever, exactly. he can yeah. make a film and then put that film out there and get profit. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 They make more money. They're doing the same thing, but they have everybody kind of fooled thinking that they're on the top. It's not the fact that they're on the top. They just have more money to put in their marketing. Yeah. So when you're when you're in Hollywood, you see this. You see the, the you see the image behind the mirage. Where on the outside you're kind of seeing them rise, saying, right. "Wow, that's amazing!" It Everything looks so good. Everything looks so good, but when you get in there, you're like, "Wow, this is how they're doing it." Mm -hmm. So, like, the reality is, you there's know, a process. Yeah, yeah it's honest. a process. Beautiful. Like, give me an example. You see a lot of people on these high, high caliber seasons and TV shows, yeah. but they're waiters. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you gotta look at actors and actresses. They only get paid a lump amount of two thousand, three thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of talent. That it's a, it's an oversaturation yeah. of the market. Yeah. So if it's an oversaturation of the market and they're living paycheck to paycheck, yes. what are they really doing? That's why I say you got to create your own. So whenever you come out, you're able to make a bigger impact yeah. and have people support you like you're already doing being creators. Yeah. So uh, just come with that mentality whenever you do come so you'll be stuck in the Hollywood because they're going to make you do whatever they feel like is just. Exactly. And yes. you're going to be doing some things that's not moral. And that's, right. that's the good thing about YouTube. You're your own boss. Yeah, yeah. you're your own yep. boss. You create your own image. Exactly. Go with your own. Mm -hmm. It's like now, now exactly. we have we have more tools to, to really succeed. Like yeah, exactly. Before it, you had to, you know, it, there was certain things you had to do, and there there was no other option yeah. unless you you did that. Now there's you know things like like uh, Kickstarter. Patreon, mm -hmm. where yeah. you can have people, you know, assist you as long as you know they yeah. support you. Right. You can kind of, you know, fund yourself as Where long as you have the division. No, not the division. The uh, the the division mm -hmm. and the work ethic. Yeah. If you're a hard worker and you have the means to do it, like now you have more you. tools to be able to do it. Yeah. So yeah. People if you support you when they see when you're doing something, if you if you exactly. come out here and you're not expecting handouts from people or yeah. or looking for somebody to take to the next level, if you yeah. say like I know how to do it and I'm gonna you know, work my ass off to do it. Then you know yeah. you you will succeed. Sure. People respond quicker when you have a product rather than if you're looking for a product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just kind. Of, that's just what it is. Yeah. Like when you're talking to somebody, say, "Well, I have this in the works." The person with the money is gonna say, "Let me look at it," mm -hmm. and then when they're shocked and say, "Why wow, they're doing it?" Then they're gonna say, "Well, let me talk to people um, that's gonna sponsor you." I had a, uh, I had a situation recently to where I was at FedEx, random FedEx. I'm um, just having a conversation, and there was a guy, and I, for, I forgot your name, but he's, he's going to look out for us. And um, for people who have phones, and the, the com comedians, they want the phones locked. Mm -hmm. So he's the person that makes it. So when I told him about the show, he said, man, we would love to support you. Whoa. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, we want to support you because we see where you're going. But if I didn't have the numbers and the product, it wouldn't even been a conversation. He right. would have looked at it and said, well, you know what? Come to me a little later. Right, right, so right. you have skin in the game, oh, you have something to show it's gosh, a little different yeah. than if you're going in there just saying, I'm doing this and this and this. I see models all the time do the same thing. Oh, I'm going to come in here, I'm beautiful, mm -hmm. I can do this, I can do that. Well, the resume's empty. The resume's empty. Yeah. But what have you no done? No people skills. No, no people nothing. skills, no yeah, nothing. Exactly. So you got to look at it like that, man. So just when you do come down here, this could cool have the expectation also have that reality of you have to come here and work and follow your vision, mm -hmm. be consistent and just make your craft even better and find people who are gonna align with your craft exactly. and make it instead of following somebody else's footsteps. Right, right, right. So that's that's so that's the biggest advice I'd give all y'all mm -hmm. when you come down there. That's the most important. For real. Yeah. That is the most important. All right, you, you got anything to add? Write it down, girl. Write it, write it. Write it, write it, write it. <laughs> And you could act. Happy New Year! <laughs> she can whisper. Yes, you do. She does. Yes, you do. The best. Hey man, but that was just you know summing up Los Angeles. It's two educated guys with struggle nation and Stony. Catch y'all the next one. Peace.